Once a year, the world's robotics competition takes place where kids from across the country gather to compete with their robots. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky introduces us to the team representing our region, an elementary and middle school team out of Clarksville. This may just look like a table of Legos, but each of the robots that roam it were coded by students to complete a mission. Basically, they had to create or develop an innovative solution to a problem, and their problem was to um, was having to do with electricity. This one here, and it <laughs> it drives and it throws three energy from the windmill into here to let the dinosaur out, and then I drive over there. I release the car. And then I pull this here for the high five to go up. This team, the Lego Lorians, has only been together since the summer. I always liked um, Legos as a kid, so I decided to just sign up for it. The six members are fourth, fifth, and seventh graders, a young group to be a competing robotics team, and a team that even surprised themselves when they won their regional competition. I was in utter shock because it's our first year, all but one of us. And so none of us were thinking we would even get a chance to go to Worlds. We just thought it was going to be a little fun side thing that we could do. And when we found out, we, especially I, I panicked because I was like, our codes are not ready. Um, I was really excited though. We're the first elementary school to win, so in Clarksville, of our area. So it's. Yeah, we weren't expecting to win. <laughs> that win helped earn them a spot to compete at Worlds, set to be in April in Houston. An honor these kids know will take them far. It's like a once in a lifetime thing, and with it being our first year for a lot of us, it's definitely something that'll help us in the future. However, because their young team meets at an elementary school, so they don't receive the funding needed to go to Worlds, so they're asking for help. These kids that have worked so hard, um, they wouldn't have a chance to be able to go without us reaching out to the community and asking for help. Funds to make their trip possible so this team can truly complete their mission. No! It's still going to get it though. In Clarksville, Claire Kopsky. Yes! That's all three. That's News all three. Channel 5. Let's go. <laughs> If you're interested in helping this team get to the worlds in Houston next month, you can email the team to find out the best way to donate. And we have all that information on this story at News Channel 5. Bye.